Hey everybody, hope you're good. So, continuing on from the Ultimate Indiana Jones, I have my Ultimate John McClane. And when I say Ultimate, I mean Ultimate. Um, as you can see, I have not one, but two heads. Now I'm not going to say which one is on the body at the moment, I do know which is which. I have them marked. Uh, one of them is the authentic MJ Choi Majestic Sculpt. And another one, could it be that one, could it be that one, is a recasted sculpt which I got in a trade uh, along with a load of other bits and bobs which I bought for some accessories um, a while back. So that's a, a game we could play later. Unless everybody fancies playing now, which one is the authentic one? So I won't go too much into the the detail of the sculpt. I mean, I'm sure you've all seen the sculpt before anyway. But, um, although the sculpt obviously is the highlight of the figure, it's not the be all and end all with this one. Um, I do genuinely believe this is the ultimate John McClane. Um, I need to film this in daylight, to be honest, but um, to show it off and show all the details off. Which I will try and do, but as anybody who has kids knows, and a job, etc, etc, it's uh, it's very hard to get time during the day to do stuff like this, to play with our toys. But um, I'll just sort of show you a bit of the details we're going. As you can see, the clothing, not only the clothing, the entire body, I'll just try and focus on what you see. The, the entire body and all the blood, the scars, and even, I'm not going to say tattoos because it's not a tattoo, that is, and I'm going to tell you that these um, decals are transfers, the tattoos, the writing, Everything is painted on. I told you the issue or issues I had with my uh, Danny Trejo figure applying those tattoo decals, and um, I didn't want to go down that route again. So, everything on this is painted on. And when you look at the scale and the accuracy and the detail, let me just try and zoom in one sec, it won't do it justice, but. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it's it's amazing. So yeah, um, nothing was left out with this figure, nothing at all. If anybody has a, a John McLean, which they consider more complete or more ultimate than this, please do hit me up. And that isn't me br bragging, saying I'm the best. I've got the best. It's just I want to know what else could possibly be done. And could be done better than it's done with this figure. Uh, you can even see the the feet are all painted, coming across a bit too dark on here. I mean they are dark, but no, no one here is dark. It's coming across on camera due to the lighting and the covered in blood. The toes, they've got the um, the blood soaked bandage around the foot, blood on the hands, all under the fingernails. The watch. Um, it, it the blood looks wet on this figure, and I'll just show you this. I'll try to do it one-handed. I'll try and flip his hand around. Lost the walkie-talkie. We can see we've even got the um, the wedding ring as well. Nothing <laughs> has been left out with this figure. So I'm just gonna even down the stand. You know, we've got the gun. I don't know if it's an MP5, but it's uh, you know it's moving parts. It's a quality piece of kit. Got the book. He's got a bag full of his explosives. He's got multiple charges in there. You can see. We've got a the famous fire axe, and this isn't no plastic. This is metal and wood 
Yeah. Even if you'll zoom in. Even John McLean's bank card and some photos and some bills and you name it. No expense or detail spared with this one. And I'll prove that with this little touch I'm going to show you right now. He's even got <laughs> the gun behind his back. Ready to pull out later on. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. As always, my camera and lighting will not do this figure justice. Um, but trust me, this thing in person, it, it looks super, super, super real. And um, I guess you might just have to take my word for it, given that I'm filming on an iPhone <laughs> at night time. But uh, let me know what you think, guys. Like I said, this ain't me bragging. It's just me wanting to show you what I've got and something I'm proud of, you know. Very, very proud of the work that's gone into this one. And I only want one Bruce Willis figure in my collection. And there's only one character, really, for me. And it's this guy. So let me know what you think, guys. Um, and I'll be back soon, maybe with... Authentic or recast or authentic or recast <sighs> which one could it be? Could he could the diads out there pardon the pun? Could the diads out there tell the difference between the authentic and the recast? <laughs> which one is it guys? Um I know Blitz were uh, coming out with uh, Ghostbusters like now because I've already seen at least one review up. So I might do a Ghostbuster video next, show off my um, my Ghostbuster setup before the swarms of Blitzway vids come, or maybe my mask figure, that sort of bash combination, and maybe show off some new stuff I've got. Um, who knows? Let me know if you have a preference, and let me know what you think of this guy. Thank you as always for watching, and staying tuned. It means the world to me, guys. Uh, catch you soon. Bye-bye.